morning it's just after eight o'clock friday the 19th of march and i'm back at a, a customer who i carried out a, an eicr last week um it's a, it's relatively new i think i can't remember it was 2012 i think it was built just your typical new build um pretty good um but i flagged up the light fitting in the bathroom they just have a button lamp holder I don't, it's, I can reach round about 2.6 metres um, from floor to ceiling. Um, I'll, I'll show you when I go in there, the, the location of it. Batten lamp holder, for me, just not suitable in the bathroom. Why on earth? New builds are absolutely atrocious for the, the standard of work. Um, and it is pretty much across the ball. I'm not saying all new build electricians are, are bad, but at the end of the day, they're all, it's all, a, a, for me, it's a tight schedule, uh, very tight budgets it just seems to be a little bit lashed in the work um and, and cutting corners rush 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 but it's it's no excuse a fitting for me in a bathroom unless it's in a, in a specific zone and it's it's well well out of that zone um put a batten lamp holder in but for the cost of a, an enclosed led bulkhead um nowadays you know 20 25 quid it, it just cover it just ticks all the boxes covers all the all the options um it's i think it measured out about 2.2.1 by the with the lamp into the into the zone from floor to ceiling and it's about four 400 mil from the, the edge of the bath and the shower and the, it's, a, it's a bath and shower combined um so for me it's just water ingress obviously there's a lot of steam moisture in a bathroom but not only that to protect the user um easily could stand in the bath and um, not that they should but reach for the lamp um, or if the lamp wasn't in, get access to the live terminals. Um, so I just err on the side of caution. Maybe I'm a little bit OTT, but I just like to do things right, and at least I know I can sleep well at night. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do that first. Um, I'll see if I can send some videos or a photo of and, and let you know how we get on. That one's done pretty straightforward um i changed a couple of smokes for the customer while i was there as well um just a little whinge why does all a vast majority anyway of new build sparks uh leave like 25 30 mil of uh, of dress cable just makes any future replacement of that fitting just a pain in the ass unless you've left a little bit of slack in the loft um, I know it was a batten lamp holder, so you, you are kind of restricted for what length to make the cables look tidy and, and what you can dress into the fitting. But fucking hell, just use your brain just for the for the next person that goes. Just even if it was just an extra couple of inch. So I know it's not the end of the world, but it's just you know it's another trip to the van, go and get a bit of cable, like extend the neutral and the switch line. It's just use your noggin. Well, that one's done. I'll I'll, uh, I'll issue the satisfactory certificate when I get back home tonight. On to the next job. Right, right at the next job. Next job's a commercial client. Um, it's a it's a hairdresser salon not far away from me. I did the downstairs last year, got that finished. Uh, and the the, the 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 girls that have got this business, it's it's a fledgling business. They've kind of expanded and took on some more staff. So they've converted the upstairs into some some more rooms, predominantly for like functions if it was a wedding or some kind of like a party or anything like that they can um, take on several clients um then it's more like an overspill area that can they can move upstairs and kind of segregate the, the the downstairs from the upstairs off um so i'll i'll, I'll show you some videos of what i've got to do today so it's all upstairs it's all being first fixed it's just a, a second fix really there's a, a client room commercial down lights in that's an emergency. Commercial down lights, and then we'll go through a, a back room. And again, that's, 
I think this is a beautician straw hairdressing room. Again, just commercial down lights. I think there's, there's four in this main area, and then there's a little boiler, little boiler cupboard, just as a single one. Fire alarm. I have got I have got an issue with the fire alarm. We put the panel in, and within months it was it was showing um, a sound default. So I've had a bit of a chew on, but I've, I've taken it with the the manufacturer when we wholesale the first, who then pass it over to the manufacturer, who then pass it back to the wholesalers. But I've been in dispute with them, and they've they've agreed to um, replace the panel. I've uh, but I'll I'll show you that video later on. These little click junction boxes have been out a while. Um, it's absolutely brilliant for for down lights, especially um, commercial down lights. A lot of the the domestic, the little standard down lights you get, uh, they come, they do have your your connection box actually on the back of the can on the fitting, um, so there's no need for these. But I started using these when I was making up multiple multiple down lights, and it used to just come with the uh, uh, where you had to make it up in the can and they never used to have enough space to to, to strip your cable and then terminate them so they, they were a bit of a pain they were only ever designed for one cable so i used to make them up with one cable so a short lead into into that and then you you loop in and out into those but to say it's changed now on, on the standard domestic ones but the bigger commercial down lights or led panels and stuff like that i tend to use these so you take your loop in and out so you yeah you switch line at neutral nerf into that. They will take uh, up to three, to three 1.5 twin and earth cables. Screw terminals, rated at 20 amps. They're only IP20 or something like that, so they're not suitable for outside. I don't know if you can see that on there. So 20 amp, there is, it's all conforms to a BS standard as well. Um, it doesn't give you the, I think they're IP20, which is fine for indoors. Well. No, it doesn't say. But yeah, I just have to take my word. It is that I'm sure it's IP20. So you just probably hard for one hand. There's a little button in there that you press. That comes off. So that goes onto your cable, like I've done up there. You can come inside, make your fitting up, like I have done on this one. It's three pin. That actually comes with like an auxiliary terminal, four terminals. So you could, if you did have your mains at your 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 common, your permanent lie, you can you can join it through into the, like an auxiliary terminal. Um, but it is three pin. There's no connection to that terminal, but it is it is there for spare terminal if you need it. So yeah, three pin. There's the light fitting, wired up. So easy. You can you can make them up on the floor, so you're not having to prat about when your ladder's trying to hold it one-handed and, and jiggle about. And then that's that's your feed cables coming in. There you go, your three. There's the spare terminal. They call it the loop, which is auxiliary. It's just I never really use it. Um, it's just a lot easier. Uh, opposed to years ago, they used to use mini junction boxes and stuff like that. But it was just a faff on. Um, it was just a little bit harder for testing. Uh, if, there, if there was a fault, if you, you need to replace the fitting. This way, pretty much the customer can can change the fitting on his own. Um, it's just a, it's fully insulated. That goes on there. The cover goes on. Clips into place, and then you put your plug. I can do it one-handed. And end up breaking it. Uh, it's on. So then, if there was a faulty fitting, um, again for, for, for isolation purposes, you know, if say you had a fault, and instead of having to go and strip out all the fittings, if it was the fitting that was a fault, first part of call, you could drop the out, go inside out, um, and then at least eliminates the fault if there was a fault on the fitting. But again, if if the client, if this is you know not a local job to you, and the, the client's got a problem where one goes out, there's obviously with LED, there's no bulbs involved. Um, Nine, nine times out of ten when the when the fitting stops working it, it is the led that's packed up um so he can just 
he can unplug that, click it in, safe as houses, and he's as aware it's, it saves a call out to the electrician. Maybe he's doing myself out of a couple of quid there, but I just think these are the, um, these are just so practical, really good. So these are the accessories there that uh, are going in. Customers, uh, she's actually supplied her own, um, made by Hager. It's the, the Solister. Um, this is actually the brush chrome flat plate range. Um, really, really nice. I don't know if anybody can remember like what made MK so good, but MK, they used to, your terminals were always, so you didn't have to twist your switches and your sockets all the way around. Your terminals and your terminal screws were always facing up when you were making the switch off. Um, and Hager have done the same, which is just a nice touch. A um, few cables that they sent. Normally I would um, I would way go them. There's, uh, there's four Earths there, four neutrals. I mean, there's a terminal there. Plus the fact that my van's around the corner, it's, parking's not ideal here, so it's, I just can't be bothered to go, go and get some Vagos. Um, so yeah, there's just uh, there's the landing light. It's just a, um, sorry, it's not a landing, it's just a corridor, just a one way one-way switch um, I always take if I can I take me me uh, me mains uh, down to the down to the switch just for the fact that I find it easier to make off um, testing fault finding again anything to make your life easier you've got all your cables down at the switch um, and there's at the end of the day there's terminals there um, you can use that as like a you know as, as, your, as your junction box your three plate method whatever you want to call it um, another little tip, just the amount of lighting manufacturers nowadays that have, have uh, come out with these garbage fittings that you can only really get one one cable at them. Um, so if you've got a loop in up at the fitting, it makes, obviously if you've got to doctor it, but it, it just makes makes it harder trying to get all the cables squeezed into the fitting because they're just they're designed by morons. So I take, take my main, start the switch for the neutral, and then you've only got one. I mean, in this case, it doesn't really matter because commercial downlights, you wanted you wanted just a, a switch line and neutral up there. But if it was a centre light, um, people will understand that it's just harder uh, to make off like a, a multiple cables into a light fitting these days. So I like to have just one, one cable up at the light and it's easy to make off. Fix completed. All done. Just ready for the decorators to go in. Make of them down lights, the uh, the Aurora. Not a bad fit, actually. There's the back room. Before people start to let the switch up, that's the end of the line. 
and actually the end of the line is the last light but for testing purposes I've left that off There you go, so it's flat line, flat plate stuff USBs Really nice them Hager Solister Not cheap, but nice Now to start testing I right, about to test the two circuits that I've popped in today um, Another Hager board You've seen on my previous videos, so I, love, I love Hager boards it's, it's really really good to work on this is a 16 way metal clad 18th edition, dual, dual RCD, a um, couple of spare ways for, for future proofing. I designed this circuit wise um, because obviously there's, there's quite a few, there's four or five hairdressers in here, so there's, there's multiple socket circuits just to avoid overload and, and just in case there is a fault, um, you don't want it to knock a load of socket stuff so they can't work. So there is. There is multiple circuits in here, so to get them away, they can. I think there's three or four socket circuits. And there's inside the board. So here, here you get you just you, loads of room, you get loads of room to address your cables. Um, I don't know, I just don't think you can go wrong. You pay a little bit more, there is cheaper brands out there. But, here you go. I'd like to think I'd come back in 20 years time and need to replace one of those components and I'll get a I'll get a part, no problem. I see these fly by night manufacturers come with cheaper boards and for 20, 30 quid cheaper, um, you can stick them. I'd rather go with a name I can trust and you know that you're going to be able to replace the parts in 20 years or so. Here you have been about for years, Wilex is another one. So it's on with testing. Dead test done on my circuit I've just got in the day. R1, R2 is 0.35. It's a kind of a reading I would expect because it's only, it's only two rooms. It's a kitchen and a room that's directly above it. It's not a particularly long run, there's not a lot of fittings on it, so I expect them readings like that. So 0.35 for R1, R2. Then I'm going on to take as any of the board. We've got 0.2, 0. It is 0 0.23 ohms. Now I'm going to energise the circuit. I'm going to take an earth loop. 